Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to hack or mod games using a program called DN Spy. And this method should work on any single player games made with the Unity engine, which is currently the biggest engine in the industry. So finding a game made with the Unity shouldn't be a problem. And for this, uh, for this video, I will be using Slender the Eight Pages as an example. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is obviously download your game and like I said I'm going to be using Slender the 8 pages. I'll put the download link to this in the description below if you guys want to follow along but you can use any game that you'd like. Second you want to download DN Spy which as I said before is the program we're going to be using to modify the game's files. And you just have to download the correct version for your, for your uh, and finally, you want to download Grepon, and this will help us just search through a few files, of, a few files of code to help us find um, different variables that we are looking for. So the first thing we want to do is open up the folder which has your game. So in my case, it's the Slender folder over here, and you want to find the folder that says game name underscore data. So since I'm using Slender the eight pages, it's called Slender the eight pages underscore data. If you're using, if you're using, let's say, um, Ravenfield, it would be called Ravenfield underscore data. And if the underscore data folder is not there, that probably means that the game is not made with Unity and this won't work. So you want to open that up and then find the folder called Manage. Open that up and there should be a file here called assembly c -sharp .dll, and this is the file that we're going to be modifying. So to do that, just um, open up DN Spy. Um, let's wait for it to load. Okay, there we go. And if you see any files on the uh, sidebar over here, all you want to do is click Control A and then delete until all the files are gone. Now, before we actually modify the assembly C -sharp file, we want to create a copy of it just in case as a backup. In case we mess something up or we want to revert back to the original. So just click Control C and then Control B. I'll copy and paste it and then simply rename this to something like assembly C -sharp. Now grab assembly C -sharp .dlo and drag it into the sidebar over here in the inspire. As you can see, we get these five um, different options over here. You want to um, you want to extend this one, assembly C -sharp. Click on the arrow there to extend it. Do it one more time, and then you'll find the one that has two um, curly braces over here and a dash. You want to click on that one. Right here are going to be all of the scripts which were written by the developer for the game. So in this case, we have a player script over here. We give it a second. Here is the script to the player. As you can see over here, we have a a slender script right over here slender man and over here on the bottom we can click on these different methods and that will take us to the line which has a method and we can also see the different uh, variables that this um, slender man class has there's also a lose script pick a page script so there's a bunch of different scripts that we have over here. So what I'm going to be doing is I want to modify the player speed because if I just run the game right now, uh, if I start the game, and as you can see the player moves extremely slowly and I actually want the player to move a bit faster. So what I'm going to do is go over here and what I'm going to do is type is uh, click on file and export to project. 
then click on the three dots and go head over to the downloads folder uh, or the folder w which has the game inside of it which in my case is this one over here go to manage it again and create a new folder in here You can call it whatever you want, I'll just call this code, and click select folder. And then click the export button. So when you go back to that um, game folder, there should be a code folder here, which has all of the scripts that we had over here. Now what this does is we can um, open these with... Um, for example you can use whatever you want I'm just using notepad plus plus here and as you can see we have all the scripts over here so what we can do is run grepwit now which is the other program that you should have downloaded at the start and what grepwin allows us to do is search through a folder and find certain variables inside of it so you click the three dots you select the, um, the folder and we want to go to that uh, code assembly C sharp folder inside of the code folder click select and over here make sure you have content search enabled and now we want to edit the speed so what I'm going to do is go here and search for and type in speed I'm going to click on search as you can see on the bottom, it shows us all of the lines of code in, and this is the name of the file and this is the line which has the word speed in it in all of these different code files. So what we can do is we can see that there is a walk speed, a crouch speed, a run speed, and a jog speed. So let's try to edit the walk speed for example. So um you can click right click edit with notepad plus plus this should open up the sprint script over here let's see here it is so this is what we want to edit so if we edit it in notepad plus plus or visual studio or whichever program you decided to open it in it won't actually work we have to edit it inside of ps5 so we have to go back to that um, sprint script which i can't find there it's sprint script what I'm going to do is find the start method of the static sprint script here. So I'm going to right click here and click edit method C sharp. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Unity, the start script gets the start method gets called when the game starts or when the object is instantiated in, in the scene. So what we can do here is simply set the walk speed to a higher number, like 10 for example. I click the compile button. Hope there's no errors. There's no errors. So now what we do is this step is very important. You have to click file, save module, click OK. So what this does is it just edited that uh, DLL file assembly C sharp DLL right over here, and it applied our changes to it. So now if you had your game running you want to close your game and then re rerun the game. In my case, I already had the game closed, so I'm simply going to run it again. And now if I walk, as you can see, I'm walking much faster. And I'm not running because if I run, then the flashlight goes down like that. So now, um, what did I do? Um, sorry about that. So now, um, what I'm going to try to do is, if I click a certain button, I want to basically win the game by getting all the pages. So what I can do is go back to Grepwin, and I'm going to look for pages. Pages. And click on search again. As you can see, we have all of these different, um, Look at this. This seems interesting, but we're setting the pages to seven or to eight inside of player script on C sharp. So let's see where that is. 
as you can see over here, we can set the desktop pages to seven on here. The desktop page is equal to eight. The cell lost is equal to true. So what that does is it sets the pages to eight and then basically makes the game over so we can win. So if we go back to DNS5, what we can do is inside of the player script, I'm gonna go to the update function and edit the message. And here I'm gonna add this line of code that checks if input dot get button down which checks if we're pressing a certain button and then inside of these two quotation marks you want to write the name of the button that you want to check so for me it'll be p so then you want to do an opening bracket and a closing bracket and inside of these two brackets i'm going to set the pages to a and i'm going to set lost to true you want to click Compile, and then again save the module by going to file, save module, okay. Now let's run the plunger again. I'm gonna click start game. As you can see, I still have my uh, speed boost over here. And if I click the P button, want to do get a key down. So if input dot get key down p then you want to run that um run that section of code over there. Click OK and rerun the game. So as you can see if I click P now Pages eight out of eight and um, plays this uh, winning animation, I guess. Teleports me to this happy forest. And here's the credits now. So, um, that's how you mod or hack games using DN Spy. You could use this on, like I said before, any single player Unity game. And you can, as long as you know a little bit of C Sharp, the possibilities are practically endless. You can give yourself infinite speed, infinite health, infinite ammo, whatever you want. So, or like I did here, you can configure a button to automatically win you the game. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down below click that like button and if you haven't already subscribed please do that as well and click the notification bell if you haven't already and i also recently made a little discord server so if you guys want to join that again link will be in the description below along with all the download links that i used in this video so until next time see you